Welcome back. And look what the cat dragged in. A 1987 Cadillac Brome base model. It kind of just fell into my lap. And when I looked at the car and studied it and realized what, I, what this car actually is, meaning the condition of it, I couldn't really resist. It is an amazing find. Now, it was owned by a gentleman for the last 22 years, only selling it because he's losing his eyesight, which is very unfortunate, but he needed a good home, and I'm kind of known in these parts for saving these old Cadillacs, and he tried to fix it, um, but he was sold the wrong fillers. Clearly, um, these do not line up with the 87 body lines, nor do they fit at all. And the attempts at installing them were not quite to my standards, but that's all right. Um, when he told me it's 110, I was kind of skeptical just because of the heat damage, the cracking of the vinyl roof and the fading of the paint on the deck lid and the, and the hood. But he explained to me that it sat outside every summer for the last 22 years with no cover, but it was parked inside every winter. And the underside is completely solid and rust-free, so that story checked out, at least regards to not being winter-driven. But with regards to the low kilometers, I wasn't convinced until I started investigating deeper look at the wear or should i say lack of wear no scratches no key marks no cracks where the elbow normally goes look at the upholstery where the elbow goes on the other side it's just it's like new there's next to nothing on the pedals for wear um the headliner is absolutely perfect better than any car i got uh, use and this car is the first running car I've gotten in a very long time I normally buy cars that aren't running and get them running I find if they're not running they don't get too much worse if, if they're in covered storage but if it's a running car I try to restore it pretty quick because it's running and driving I'm gonna keep it that way so 110,000 original kilometers and I do believe the uh, condition of the car kind of proves that story everything works on this thing it is ridiculous even the um, the turn signal levers there's no wear or play in them a high mileage car it'd be worn out a lot more it's just it's just no wear in this car I mean look at it and look at the that's how solid it is. So it's a 307. It took me a few minutes to get used to the 307. I just drove it home an hour. I got a temporary permit for it and drove it home. Um, I'm used to the 482, as you know, and how much power she has. But uh, the 307s are good engines, but uh, I took a couple of minutes to, to re familiarize myself with, you know, a little bit slower getting going but i had this car up to 70 miles an hour and oh my god this thing is beautiful look how soft this is there's no wear in this car it's a brand new car from a cosmetic standpoint on the inside this car is absolutely stunning i mean it truly truly is it's your typical old man's car and i'm not at all knocking older gentlemen but, you know, it has the normal wear and tear that you'd get from an older person. He told me he backed into the motor home, which is what caused this damage. And the clear coat's peeling off. So, what am I going to do? All right, new vinyl roof off the bat. Pull the bumper, get the correct fillers, spray them from here into the quarter panels, encapsulate all the damage at the same time. Make this car essentially showroom. Uh, even the, the wheel covers show absolutely no curb rash, which is very rare for a car from 87. It's, it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Oh, before you, before you mention it, 
It used to be a brown car, as you can tell. He claimed it was painted before he bought it, which doesn't bother me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of brown anyway. But look at look at the color change. Underneath the deck lid, underneath the hood, all the door jams. This was no backyard spray job. She was professionally color changed. And they did an amazing job. Everything's been color changed. So the only thing I don't have is the paint coal that they painted it with. I don't think it's Cadillac Nugget from the 82. It's close, but I don't think it is. I think a different kind of gold or beige. I think more like a goldy brown, maybe. But it's not the ugly brown it was. But I am so tickled with this car. I uh, drove it home, as I said, for an hour on highway, freeway driving. It handles beautifully, it drives beautifully, it runs beautifully. Everything works except the power antenna. All gauges, windows, door locks, it's radio, it's amazing. It goes through all the stations. This felt needs replacing, but again, that's just probably dry from being outside for 22 years, at least in the heat. But um, you give me the rest of the summer to make this car beautiful, and by God, she will be. It might be a base, but by goodness, it's 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 outstanding. It is totally outstanding. It's just a beautiful Cadillac. And um, if you thought the A2 was nice, wait till you see this girl when she's done. It is just a sweetheart. All right, this is the first view. Um, I'll show you the um, engine. And the, there's no sag in the door pins either, which is a good sign, which helps prove the low miles. And it's dirty as, as, as ever, because it you know, wasn't, wasn't pampered like I pamper my cars, but there's no wear from the sail plates in and out like a high mileage car would. It's like, wow. So you give me, as I said, time to sand all this off and detail it, repaint it. And the AC com is complete. It actually wants to come on. Not quite enough juice free on to make it work, but I'm sure I can get it running with very little effort. The uh, AC, I mean, because the car runs perfect. Um, it's just, everything is as it was in 87. Little light for the hood. All the foot fixtures work. Base car, it does not have the fall down mechanism. The, the other cars have a big black box here with the power pull down motor. It doesn't have that, which doesn't matter. Um, I'll start her up. Just so you know, I drove her home. Look, look at this, you see, look. They painted, uh, even that was painted when they painted the car. It's unbelievable how detailed they went when they sprayed this girl. It, it's, it's awesome. This was no quick spray. This was a professional shop that painted this car. The color change, I mean. So it says, General Motors, if you all know, mark of excellence. Look at that. If that don't blow the rag off the bush. That is something you don't see every day. A running, driving, 87 Brome. I can't wait to show it to you when she's all fixed up. I will uh, show you the, the steps as I always do. This is video one and video two will probably be after a good shampooing. I like, even though it needs work, I like starting it off a car clean. I'll compound what is left of the existing paint try and get an accurate uh, code for the paint shop so they when they when they test it then it's a close match man i'm really tickled with this car i really really am it's amazing fine look at this lock unlock everything works power windows power locks cruise control radio <laughs> Indigenous people are going to be safe in our community. Either way, it's amazing. 
Everything works but the power antenna in this thing. And the AC needs recharging, but that's it. That is it. Uh, cracking from the heat again, but not where. I, I firmly believe this story is accurate. I can confirm that indisputably with the VIN package when I buy that next week, but an amazing find, a car well worth saving. And I was approached because I'm the one of the few guys in my area crazy enough to restore 80s Cadillacs. They wanted it brought back and uh, I'm the man for the job. So thank you for watching and I'll see you down the road.